What's up guys, welcome back to another video, Alex here and today we're going to talk about some more Galaxy tips and tricks that you should know about and the first one is how to change your auto lock timeout. Go to your phone settings, go to lock screen, tap on secure lock settings, put in your pin and then in here go to auto lock when screen turns off and you can see what it says is set when the phone will be locked after the screen turns off so by default it's set to immediately but you can set a timeout of how, lo how long your phone will stay unlocked after you lock it so you can choose between 5 seconds and 30 minutes I would suggest going between 15 and 30 seconds I think that's a pretty good amount of time to keep it unlocked and now anytime you lock your phone it will stay unlocked for 15 seconds so if you need to quickly get back into your phone you'll have 15 seconds where the phone will stay unlocked all right guys now this next tip has to do with screenshots and if you're anything like me you probably take a bunch of screenshots by accident throughout your day and they end up just piling into your gallery and just taking up space on your phone but I actually have a solution for that because as you can see I have this little trash icon so every time I take a screenshot if it's by accident I can immediately delete it so that it doesn't get saved to my phone and I don't have to deal with it later and to enable it all you need to do is go to your Galaxy Store install the Good Lock application and then open it up and in the life up section look for the nice shot module go into here install it if it's your first time using it but once you have it working all you need to do is enable this toggle right here that says add delete button once we enable this we can now delete any screenshots that we take on accident or we don't want and while we're in here another nice feature that you can enable is do not disturb while screen recording so if you take a lot of screen recordings on your phone like I do for YouTube or tutorial purposes or whatever other reasons you do not want to be getting notifications or phone calls during your screen recording because that's going to ruin the whole thing so by enabling this every time you start a screen recording your phone will go into do not disturb mode and you will not get any interruptions and no notifications and no phone calls will come through while you're screen recording so that you can finish it without being interrupted now one of the first things you probably did when you got your Samsung Galaxy phone and I even had this in my own first things to do video is you changed what long pressing your power button does because by default it brings up the Bixby assistant but a lot of people don't want that and they want their normal power options menu back so to do that what you did is go to your settings then you went down to advanced features, tap on side key, and then down here you'll see you have an option between Wake Bixby and power off menu. But you can see when I long press my power button, it will actually start my flash. It will turn on my flash. And what's really nice about this is I can even do it if my phone is locked. And I use this pretty much daily as I'm walking around the house late at night. I don't need to unlock my phone. I just quickly tap and hold my power button and it turns on my flash. Now to enable this, what you're gonna wanna do is go back into the Good Lock application. And this time we're gonna go to the register module. So again, install this if it's your first time using it. And then when you got it installed down at the bottom, you'll see an option that says side key, press and hold action. And if we go into here, you can see all of the options that we have to map to our power button. So if you're like me and you don't really use Bixby, but you also don't really use the power menu either, this is a great option because you can map screenshots, your Google Assistant, flashlight, you can turn on or off live captions, mute or unmute your phone, show your recent apps, or even open a specific application. So you can go into here and select what app you want to launch when you long press the power button. But for me personally, I like to have it on flashlight, but I definitely suggest you guys go through here. If neither of these options are really things you use often, why not map this to something else that will actually get you some use out of it. So definitely go through here and check this out. All right, guys, now before we move on, I just want to give a quick shout out to the video sponsor of the day, Magbag. Magbag creates elegant accessories for your S23 Ultra and this is their Magbag case. It's a minimalistic soft touch case made of an impact absorbing silicon that's drop tested from up to 6 feet. I've personally been using it for the past couple of weeks and I gotta say it feels really great. It's durable, it's got raised corners to protect your screen, the buttons are nice and tactile and the best part is that it brings MagSafe to Samsung. The powerful magnets inside allow you to easily mount your phone to a wireless charging station or if you want you can just simply stick it to any metallic surface. They also come with these mag sticks they can stick onto any surface or even in your car to easily be able to mount your Samsung phone anywhere you need and if you want to access accessorize your phone or add some functionality, you can grab one of their slim MagBag wallets that's capable of fitting up to six cards. And of course, thanks to the powerful array of magnets on the case, 
you don't have to worry about losing it. And what's really cool is it also comes with this handy little loop to help you easily grip your phone, which is great for a phone as big as the S23 Ultra. And to take it even another step further, you can prop the wallet up to act like a stand. To learn more about Magback or pick one up for yourself, be sure to check out the links in the description below. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to talk about is a new feature that came to the Galaxy phones with One UI 5.1. So be sure you're on One UI 5.1. And then when you go to your phone's settings, go down to battery and device care, tap on battery, and then scroll down until you see more battery settings. And then in here, you'll see performance profiles. Now, what this is, is it will allow you to prioritize a balance between processing speed, battery life, and cooling efficiency. Or if you want more battery longevity, out of your phone you can set it to a light performance profile and that will prioritize cooling efficiency and battery life over processing speeds and i'll be honest with you i've been using this in a light profile for probably the last month month and a half and i have not noticed any slowdowns on my phone whatsoever. The refresh rate is still maxed at 120 hertz. The RAM management has had no issues whatsoever. All of my applications run smooth as butter. Really, I have not noticed any loss in performance at all. And even if you're a big mobile gamer and you're worried about this, you don't have to worry because it says right here, the setting does not apply to games. So if you're somebody who prioritizes battery life over performance, but you don't want to use the power saving mode because what that will do is bring your refresh rate down, bring your resolution down, and you don't want to go through that because you still want the best specs out of your phone, I would recommend you give Light Performance Profile a try. Like I said, I have not noticed any issues whatsoever when it comes to performance. So go ahead and give this a try if you have not yet. All right, guys, now this next feature is really useful if you take a picture of something that you know you're going to need at a later date, maybe not today or tomorrow, but weeks or months down the line. It might get lost in your gallery, but there's a way to easily find it. So let me show you how this works. If I go to my gallery, I have a picture here of my bank receipt from a few weeks ago. Now, I didn't want to keep this paper, but I also wanted to have this for reference just in case something happened down the line and they needed proof that I made this deposit. So if you just scroll up like that, you can see that there's an add tag button right here. If you tap on it, you can now add a tag and there's a whole bunch of predetermined ones. But what you can do is even create your own tag. So maybe I just want to call this one CIBC and then I'm going to hit plus and then just tap save. And now you can see I've added this CIBC tag. So maybe some months go by and then I need to reference that phone, uh, uh, that receipt again, but I don't want to have to go through my whole entire gallery to find it. All I need to do is go to my gallery application, hit on the search bar up here and then tap uh, type that tag that I created. So that was CABC. We're going to search for it and you can see it shows up right here. So this is definitely a really, really convenient feature. If you know you're going to need to reference something in the future, I've done this with my ID, other documents and paperwork, and it just makes my life so much easier to be able to filter through my whole entire gallery and find what I need. All right, guys, now on to the last Galaxy tip. Did you know that you can actually take live photos on your Galaxy device just like on the iPhone? And it's a really easy toggle to enable right in your camera. You can see that there's this little square up here with a play arrow and not a lot of people even know that this is up here. But if you enable it, now what you can do is take live photos of whatever you want. So you can see I took that picture. If we go into here, we have an option to view motion photo. If we tap on this, now we have a short little live photo. So if you're somebody who really likes that live photo experience, just to kind of relive those few seconds in the moment when you snap these pictures, maybe you have kids or you're, you know, you're going on vacation or something and you like that little immersive experience of having a live photo, this is how you do it on a Galaxy phone. Simply just enable this uh, toggle right here and you've got yourself live photos. And there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.